Welcome back to Around the World in 80 Hours. My name is Andy Yardy. I'm a filmmaker, a digital storyteller, in the middle of an adventure of discovery by traveling around the world in 80 hours. Using just my iPhone, I'm documenting the sights and sounds of our global village that's in the middle of a technology revolution. It's just before 6 a.m. in Beijing, China. 51 hours down and 29 to go. The highway is wide open. My taxi driver still feels the need to use the shoulder to pass, while talking incessantly on his cell phone. I am on my way to the Great Wall of China, not just because it's on my bucket list, but because I believe a look at China's past will help give me some clarity to the China of today. China is the world's new superpower. It's a communist country. It's the world's tech factory and home to 1.3 billion people. At least that's what we know about it as Americans. We look at it with fear and fascination. But the truth is, China has been a world power for thousands of years. They dominated the East with innovation, trade, and power centuries before the Europeans even discovered America. Through the rise and fall of the Roman Empire and into Europe's imperial expansion into the Americas, Africa, and Asia, China was the dominant economic power of the East. As the West expanded, China's political and military power waned, but its trading power remained strong. After World War II, Mao's Cultural Revolution changed that. Now, this is the image we have of China. It's a clash of worlds. Buildings from Imperial China in the shadow of this massive portrait of Mao and a giant jumbotron in the middle of it all. And everywhere, people. This is China. So I stop for a moment to talk to a couple of guys eager to practice their English with me. It doesn't take long before we start talking smartphones. I use the iPhone, like, uh, you, you can take me, yeah, you do not take my face. So you know. Okay, yeah, no yeah. face, just the yeah. phone. What do you use your phone for? You know, take a photo, video, internet. Photo, video, yeah, internet. Yeah, internet. No, we, I tell you, we, we, we offer you the call. Call, yeah, call, call number much one, easy. Number one, message, number two, send a message. Watch okay. your film. Watch your film. Yeah. 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 Play some music. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I can like tell it. you. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's nice to meet you. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Okay. What? It's nice to meet you. Oh, yeah, also yeah, nice, nice to meet, to meet you, you too. You. Yes, yeah. right, nice to meet you too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've slowly made my way over to Hung Tao Pearl Market, the best place in Beijing to get knockoff anything, complete with a Starbucks. Not a knockoff, I think. This is crazy. These vendors will sell me anything. Creepy iPhone cases, accessories, knockoff iPads, tablets, cameras, headphones, iPhone, five, six, seven. You know, at its core though, China has always been a nation of entrepreneurs. But when you look at China from the outside, there is a real reason to be concerned or at least confused. But from the inside though, Oh, it's the same. I stand out, I can't speak the language, and I get the feeling of being watched. Well, I am. Not that it's any different from anywhere else. Welcome to Subway Line 2. It's watching the people, though, that starts to give me some clarity. They are just like you and me. Their smartphones are out wherever they go. These devices are the most visible piece of the technology revolution that is changing our social fabric. It's their connection to the outside world. 
It's their connection to their friends and family. It's their escape from the grind of getting by. And if I could ask the question, can you live without it? I am sure the answer would be the same as mine. I love it. I hate it. Uh, where can I charge this? I can't put it down. And please, don't stop this train. I mean, really, don't stop this train. I'm running late, New York is 7,000 miles away, and I have a little more than 17 hours to make it around the world in 80 hours. <laughs>